Let's take a look at working with moving lights on the Congo. To start off, I'm going to do what we've done in the last couple of tutorials and just select my lights. 91, channel, 94, through. But since we're working with more information than just intensity, I'm going to change it so we can see some attributes. I'm going to hit the attribute key, and notice that this shows us quite a bit more information about our fixtures besides just intensity. It's also showing us some information for our LEDs and our scrollers. So to change this, I'm going to hit my format key until I go to the selected device format. This is just going to let me see the channels I currently have selected. When we're working with moving lights, there's a lot of information to be handled. So we break it up into four different categories. Intensity, focus, color, and beam. The first thing I'm going to do is give it some intensity. Now we're going to work with focus. This controls any movement of the light, normally controlled by pan and tilt. If we come over here, we have the focus key. This remaps my encoders to have pan and tilt. It's a good practice to always tilt your lights first, and as soon as I start moving this, we can see the lights moving on stage. Tilt is going to be our up and down, and pan is going to be our back and forth or left and right. Our next category is color. This is any color control for the fixture. It's similar to how we worked with our RGB LED fixtures, but notice that these are cyan, yellow, magenta fixtures, so it's slightly different. We still have our control within our color picker. Since we patched a specific fixture in here, we notice that we have a line within our color picker. This line shows us the physical limitations of the fixture. Anything outside is colors that the fixture just can't make, while anything inside lets me jump directly to those colors. I could also have direct control of the cyan, magenta, or yellow, and I have the ability to very quickly type in a value and assign it. Beam is the category that houses everything else. This is where things like gobos, iris, and strobe are stored. If we want to assign a gobo, we can come over here and scroll through our different options. If we want to rotate it, notice the difference between the outline on gobo and the outline on gobo rotation. The solid or larger outline shows that if I push and hold here, it's going to repaint and give me a whole bunch of options to quickly jump to, whereas the thin outline allows me to just scroll through to whatever I want. When I'm working with these fixtures, if I want them to go away or restore to their home, I can push and hold home attribute and tap a category. This allows me to return them back to their home. If I want the entire fixture to restore back to its home, I can just double tap home attribute. 